Right, this is a video of New York. We're walking around the edge of Central Park of New York. That's heading up to the west side of New York. There are a couple of famous, very famous hotels along here, like the Park Royale, um, the Marriott, um, the, the Ritz Carlton, which is a bit further down. You can see, I'll show you the flag, I'll just zoom in down on that flag down there. Yeah, we'll just go down a bit. Here's the Ritz Carlton, I think you can see it from look down there. Close it down a bit. So this is, and then we look back to like the high rises and then a park. And this is Central Park. Yeah, so let's walk along a little bit and see what the people are doing. Lake, obviously the largest park in New York, taking up the full centre of it. And as we're heading into the moment, towards the Trump Tower, down there has been the uh, has been the position of a number, a number of protesters for about the last two years. Yeah. I zoom in, I think now you can see that there is the Ritz Carlton, one of the most famous hotels in New York. All right, we'll do another one soon. So here we are, again on the south end of the Central Park. You can see over here the Park Lane Hotel. You would have seen a horse that just walked by. Now, these horses and carriages you can rent for about an hour and they'll take you for a complete tour around Central Park. Now, we're going to do that a bit later on. So, we will do a video from that for you a bit later. You can see what that's like around Central Park on a horse drawn cart. Quite romantic, quite beautiful. And there is. As before, as we get closer to Ritz Carlton. And these are the horses, they line up here on the southern end of Central Park. Obviously, waiting for people to come along and pay, pay them. You can see that the horses get a little bit of food that the pigeons like to share in as well. So, very pretty. Some of these carts are nearly 100 years old. And the horses are kept inside New York City. They actually have stables inside the city, which is quite interesting. So right out the front, there's the Ritz Carlton. And as we come along, you can see more and more of the horses that are here, lined up. First guy, obviously, waiting for his next fare. And you've got the typical New York hot dog stands and the main entrance from the southern end heading in to New York City and all the street stores. All right, it's the second part of our New York Central Park tour. We'll come back with more later. Okay, obviously being a 10 kilometer trip all the way around the outside of Central Park, we're not gonna be able to videotape the whole lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to videotape a few spots so that you can see. So these are going to be one of the, some of the highest towers when finally built in New York, right on Central Park. They will sell for a lot of money. You can see. So that tower you see in front right there, that is Trump Tower. And as we come around, you can see what Central Park looks like, mainly at the moment in winter, most of the trees have lost their leaves. And I do a full route around and you can see. So this one here, you can see that they're building, that is amazing, that's the height. Now, one of these, um, a little bit, which I can show you, sold not long ago. So very similar to that. You can see over here, that long one there, I'll zoom in on. The penthouse of that apartment sold not too long ago for in excess of 100 million US dollars. So it gives you an idea of what some of these apartments are worth on Central Park. 
is the premium position in New York City, and this is going to be absolutely massive in the way of the building. All right, that's the spot just out inside the south end of Central Park. We'll show you another spot a little bit later on. This is the famous Woman Ice Game Room in Central Park. It costs a few bucks to go. It's actually sponsored by Mr. Trump. And uh, it is featured in many movies like Serpentipity, Home Alone 2. So quite a famous place. Very picturesque and beautiful scenery right inside Central Park. Many New Yorkers basically do most of their activities in Central Park, which is what we're There you go. Warman ice skating rink. The scene of many a movie. It's pretty much about one third up Central Park in the United States, as you can see by the way. As we come around over here, you can see this is the main thoroughfare thorough there, through the centre of Central Park. Now over here, this is the Sound Shell, better known as Pilgrim Hill. So they do a lot of free concerts, as you probably know. Um, Simon and Garfunkel, uh, there's been many, many concerts in the centre of Central Park um, for some iconic buildings over here, just further over that way, which we're not going to go to today, is a place called Strawberry Fields. It was named after John Lennon and it was where John Lennon was shot outside his building, tragically, um, many years ago. So his wife, Oko Ono, actually still lives in the building today and that is the west side. So. The way New York is broken up, on one end of the park we have, which is the northern end, we have Harlem. Over here we have the west side. And then over here we have the east side. Now the east side is populated by what they call in America, old money. So we've got families that live over there, like the Rockefellers, the Astors, um, many famous names um, associated with New York like the Waldorf Astoria was built by the Astors and things like that. So, and then on the southern end where we filmed earlier, where the sun is kind of blowing us out at the moment, is where there's a lot of hotels. So, and you can see the horses going around. This is kind of just before the center and we're gonna to head towards the Met where they have the very famous Met party every year, uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art. All right. We're now in the centre of Central Park. This is an undercourse that walks underneath Central Park. Many people walking through it. It's very famous. There's toilets and stuff there. And as we come around, you will see the famous Beth Cedar Fountain. Now, more people would know it as the Friends Fountain, the fountain that featured in the beginning scenes of Friends. A little unknown knowledge is, is that it was not actually the fountain they used. They rebuilt the fountain in California for Friends so that they could uh, film the series easier. But as you remember from the original scene, this was the fountain it was based on. Now there's no water in the fountain at the moment, being winter, but uh, in summer there is water that pours out of it and is the famous Friends Fountain or better known as the Cedar Fountain. Now over here we have the green roof of the boathouse. Now the boathouse has also featured in many movies. You'll see people in Central Park sailing little model boats around the place in some TV series and movies, and this is where that happens. Uh, there's a lake in front of it. You can also, in summer, rent a rowing boat and uh, row out on it, but being winter at the moment, they are put away. But there you go, the famous Beth Cedar Fountain. Central Park, New York City. So as I talked about before, just a quick view again of the boathouse. You can see here stacked up all the rowing boats that I mentioned that you can hire in summer and sail around. They've got one obviously in the centre. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just zoom in. And there's a Christmas tree on it for winter, which is quite cute. Now you can come here and have lunch as well, which many people at the moment are doing. And that is the scene of where you see the little model boats sailing in around New York City. So here we are. This is the Alice in Wonderland Conservatory of Water. Seriously, when you're walking through New York, it's like you're walking around in movie sets. This is featured in many movies and series like Sex and the City. You'll also remember 
people riding little boats or driving little remote control boats on this lake as well. Now the buildings that you see in the distance is the east side or the upper east side of Manhattan on the park. It is the dearest real estate in New York. Very old money, Rockefellers, Astors. You can see this one right in front of us every year. He hoists Christmas trees up onto his balcony. He owns the top three floors and I don't even want to imagine what that's worth. Anyway, that's the Alice in Wonderland Conservatorium of Water. Here we are with the wildlife of Central Park. Notice as he gets his nuts, he digs them out from under the ground and then takes them. As he runs towards the tree, nut in hand, looking at me, wondering if I've got a nut for him. So here's something really interesting for people that don't realize about Central Park. When you actually get to just past the center of Central Park, there is a massive reservoir of water. This is the original water source for New York City. There is a fountain down there. It's now called the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Reservoir, but it's been here since the beginning of New York City. And it is massive, it is huge. So right, as you can see, the building surrounding it, there is a massive reservoir. Come around to the buildings. Another quick video of the reservoir looking back towards the southern end. You can see the height of some of the buildings. Central Park, middle of Manhattan, New York City. This is quite interesting. There is a waterfall in the middle of Central Park coming down, comes down here, and it goes through there. Right. 